everyone, it is my graduation day. I feel like this is deja vu. I was standing in this exact same position saying the exact same thing when I'm graduating for the fourth time. Mm -hmm. For the fourth time. I'm graduating from Roehampton University and School of Education. <laughs> with a teaching qualification so with the PGC uh, which is crazy because I I'll explain in a whole nother video like how I did it I only attended the university about four times in a year and it was all paid for and to be able to do this you need to have a PhD and I can talk about the scheme a little bit more in another video if you guys are interested please do let me know but anyways I'm about to leave it's such a beautiful day it's Monday the 28th so it's just a m the most gorgeous day today I'm wearing a suit I'm so happy that it's sunny today because it was pouring down with the rain yesterday and I was praying that it was sunny today thank the lord it is literally none of my family members are coming only my, my mom and my sister's gonna come for the, like before and that's pretty much it and I just told them not to come because it's just like I've graduated so many times now that it's just like there's literally no point of you taking a day off work just to come to another graduation <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this vlog so i'm vlogging i'll just be vlogging for you guys today and i also am in the evening going horse riding i've started horse riding lessons every monday evening today is no exception i will be going in the evening at 7 30 so after graduation come back home get changed get my boots on get my clothes on and get out of the house so i'll take you guys with me and i thought it'd be a good like a i thought it'd be a nice chance for you guys to see my horse riding um as well so that'd be cool to see what i get up to and stuff um but yeah let me take you guys with me okay so this is what i'm wearing today as you can see i've got this suit on and i got it from zara in the sale and i think it's still there so you probably can get it i love the fact that i can wear the blazer with different things and i can also wear the trousers with the different things as well and then i'm wearing the same shoes that i wore for graduation for my undergrad graduation and I absolutely love them so much my feet have not seen the sun in about five months now so I made sure to moisturize them so not looking <laughs> dry but yeah this is my outfit I'm currently toying between um, two different jackets let me show you what they look like all right so this is the first jacket that I think I am probably gonna go with and I've just worn it on top of my blazer. I love it. It's checked and it's nice and long. And I feel like it just goes with the theme quite well. Even though I'm not going to be able to act on your judgment, I think it'd be quite cool to, to see which one you guys think I should go for. So this is jacket number one. Or my second option is this black coat. That's a Reese coat. I think it's gorgeous. Such a statement um, black coat. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to go for. I, I'm thinking to go for the white. But I love the way this as well I feel like it just looks so classic and oh and I love the um, endogenous vibes that I'm getting from this outfit I am all gowned up <laughs> it's deceivingly cold <laughs> it looks like it's super sunny but it's actually freezing cold but yeah, I'm wearing my gown. The colours are red, yellow and a bit of blue as well, which is nice because it kind of matches my suit. Unplanned, by the way. Unplanned. Um, and this, so I'm at the Royal Festival Hall again, which is the same hall that I was graduated at for, um, for UCL as well. I think a lot of unis graduate here now. Let me go to my family. I don't know where they are, but... Um Me. This South Park Centre reminds me of my PhD thesis because this is where I used to come to write my thesis. My mum is inside, seated, and I'm just going to go and grab my seat. Challenges, embrace them. 
Jacqueline and Dan. Brahampton is grateful for you. Brahampton will miss you. Brahampton celebrates you. Your success today and your success in the future. Just graduated. Here's my booklet. Yes, not young. Congratulations, yes, girl. How many graduations? <laughs> like four. <laughs> so I'm like, what's the, when's the next one? When's the next one? I've actually got some more credits that I can use. Yeah, yeah. Put another mark. Inshallah. Yeah. Next. I mean, I think my lifetime. I think ten is like a good number. Ten. Yeah. I've done four in what ten years. So oh I think gosh. I can do another four, another ten years. <laughs> no, I'm oh, excited. Yeah, yeah. Aston, Michelle. Yeah, next to Aston. Mom, do you want to take one in my vlog? Huh? This is going to go in my vlog. <laughs> oh, do we <laughs> Oh my god, that's, this is a defining moment in life. <laughs> this is such a huge moment. <laughs> okay, Mom, say hello then. Mom, say hello then. Hello, then. Let's make it official. <laughs> Mom, say hello then. Hello. This is a moment I didn't think was gonna happen. <laughs> okay, well, hi. I'm a bit overwhelmed. I'm a bit overwhelmed. I'm, 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 I'm like, ooh, okay. So I am back home after a long day graduating. You weren't there. No, I had better things to do. What do you mean? You weren't there. What's going on? My whole family, my whole family left me. The only people that love me are my mother, yes, my mother, and Hannah. And Samaya came. Samaya came as well, by the way. Yeah, Samaya was there. But yeah, three. Three! <laughs> not you, you didn't come to graduation, not fair. But yeah. Too busy <laughs> paying the Too bills. Fair. Oh my gosh, Jacqueline Wilson was there, and she's the Chancellor of Roehampton University, and I shook her hand, and I feel so. I've never fangirled over anyone, but Jacqueline Wilson, I grew up reading her books, didn't you? Didn't you write in Two fair skill books, yeah. But literally, my mum, she used to leave me in W. H. Smith. And then I would be in, um, she got Sainsbury's next door, and I'd sit on the floor in W.H. Smith every weekend just going through Jacqueline Wilson books. Oh. I love, and also Tracy, Tracy Beaker, the TV show. Oh my god, it's just like, I was, I, that, that, that made my day. That made it worth it. Anyways. How would it be like if you met J.K. Rowling? I don't know, not, uh, not that, no, not significant. But for me, Jacqueline Wilson is a legend. She's so cute, her voice is so soft, and she's just cute and short and like, <laughs> You're describing yourself. <laughs> what can I say? Cute short. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I am changed. I'm ready to go horse riding and got my violin tights on and then I've got like four layers. I've got um this jacket and then I've got a waterproof jacket and then I've got this hoodie underneath and then like two layers underneath and a thermal. It does get very cold. We're in like the barn indoors. It's like indoor riding, um, but it's cold and we're outside for an hour straight. So actually I think double socks today would be a good idea because last week I was freezing. And yeah, these are my boots that I wear. Um, they, as you can see, get very dirty. I don't wear them for anything else except for riding. So yeah, I'm gonna put those on and those will co cover me up to here. So anyways, it means that I won't get too cold. So this is the this is the fourth week that I've been going and I've learned so much in such a short space of time. I feel very confident now with the horse. So leading it, getting it out of the stables, um, tying the girth, the stirrups, uh, adjusting everything, and then jumping off and, and trotting. I can trot now, which is fantastic. And all by myself, I can steer. I can get it to stop, I can get it to go. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel like over the past few weeks, I've been like getting more comfortable with horses. And I think more than just jumping on a horse and riding, it's really important to get comfortable because they are close to dogs in the sense that they sense fear. When you com you're confident and you show them authority, they do obey and they do listen to you and they go do go in the direction you want them to go to. Um, so yes, yeah, so I feel like the first week I was like, 
like that and then now i'm like i'm holding your reins over here i'm also reading this book ted talks um almost done and i find it so useful for like youtube videos for teaching just in general like just speaking and knowing what to say and how to say things and how to attract the audience um and if you're someone that has like a public facing role or if you're someone who does you know enjoy speaking even if it's at the dinner table um i think it's a great great book Okay, so the first thing I need to do is just grab a hat. This is mine. Um, and then you can also wear boots as well, but I tend to wear my own boots just because I feel like it's a bit more hygienic. So my size is two and a half. So I'm just gonna, oh no, I've got my hat. I keep, I always forget to take it off. I get really comfortable with my hat on. Let's do this. And you shouldn't be able to move it. Can you see how it's like secure? Oh, it's tight. Ready to go. Here are the stables. Uh, as you can see, there are so many different horses. Elsa. Hey, Elsa. You got a cutie. First lesson I rode on Highland. <laughs> this is Highland, big horse. Hey, Highland. <laughs> Big one. Just finished the lesson. It's way too cold. I need a hot, hot bath. It was fun today though. We, trot we did some trotting and um, I did quite well for myself. So I didn't need any support. I was just trotting by myself. And I had the rhythm and the balance that she said. Okay, let's go home. <laughs>